Hey everyone, what's up? It is the Unpro Pro here. All right, in the last episode, I covered eventing on the map. Today, I will be covering event on or events on the um, battle events, the troops. So go to your database and go to troops, and we're gonna make a new troop. We're gonna call it Herp Derp. <laughs> so let's create two slimes by clicking here and clicking Add. So you uh, right-click the second slime you added, uh, click on Appear Halfway. What this means is he is not gonna be in the battle at all, even if you destroy this slime. What we're going to do is, by the way, I recommend uh, only for bosses if you want, or you can just do it for regular enemies, but I think this would be best for bosses. What I'm going to be showing you how to do is this slime will call for backup and summon this slime. So let's, uh, let's get on with it. The condition don't run. Hmm, let's read that actually. Conditions that started them. Okay, that doesn't tell you. Don't run, I, I think, means if you failed to run. <laughs> I could be wrong. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to double click that or you can click the little three dots and we're going to select when the end of turn and we're going to select enemy. You can play around with this if you want to. The turn number uh, means it you can actually have multiple ones if you want. The turn number means it will only happen during a certain amount of turns. Um I like between these turn numbers. Or you can do actors HP or enemies HP or you can have a switch. So it's only accessible when the switch is on. We're going to select slime 1, which is the visible one. We're going to say when the HP is 25% or below. Now, I increased the slime's HP uh, to 150 uh, for this event because otherwise the character like pretty much kills him in one hit. So, it should look like this. When battle, ah, when the end of the turn and the enemy is 25% or below. Now, I'll click over here on span. Span means when the battle starts, I believe, or like when... Yeah, when I think it's when the battle starts. Turn is when the turn ends. Like battle start meaning uh, before you strike, I think. Turn meaning turn end, I believe. And moment happening instantly. Moment will cause you to lock up. So what we're going to do is select turn. Now we're going to double click uh, down here. We're going to select. We're going to go to tab one. We're going to select on um, conditional branch. And we're going to do tab three, actually. We're going to do enemy. We're going to do slime two has appeared. Now, I know you're thinking, wait, what? But he's not there yet. What we're doing is we're going to put the code in else. So it only happens one time. So it being an else is pretty much saying if the slime has not appeared yet. It's going to show text and it's going to be like, yo, dog, I needs backup. Uh, I wish we had a, wait, do we? Dang it, they don't have the slime uh, face. All right, anyways, so we're going to have slime... So like the slime calls for backup. So the text is going to show up, and what we're going to do is go to tab 3. We're going to do oh, enemy up here. There we go. And we're going to select the invisible slime. Click OK. Click Apply. And let's test this out. Yo, dog, on these backup. And there goes the other slime. You can also attack him, and it's not going to happen twice because it's already happened. So, that is how you do that. That's basically how battle events really work. Ooh, nice critical hit there. <laughs> now, uh, since this is an incredibly short episode, I can't just end it off with that. Or can I? I don't really know, because that's basically how battle events work. Um, since you know how to use events, you can play around if you want, and you can learn more things, you know, tips and tricks and stuff similar. So, yar. Let's, uh... <laughs> That's all I'm thinking about doing for the battle events. Like, I can't think of anything else that you would do. Um, you could actually... You know, use switches and stuff and new event pages. Just like you can a normal event. And you can have, like, this long scripted battle. You can also, as I explained in the previous episode, you can actually force an action. You can also do enemy transform. I guess I'll do that. I guess I'll show that off. Enemy transform. Basically, you can transform an enemy. So, like, after he calls for backup, for example, he transforms uh, into a large snake. Why not? <laughs> I'll show you how that works. Click apply. And now we got to... I don't know where I was going with... Oh, my gosh! It's a dying snake! Oh! 
Lord Snake was done. Now you see here, that's how you do it. No, so um, yeah, uh, that's I guess all I can really cover. Sorry for the short episode, guys, uh, but I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. And I will see you guys for the next episode.